You may be familiar with Hooters. Yes, the restaurant brand that's known for its scantily clad women. Well, it's being sued by a man named Brandy Livingston. He was denied employment as one of the scantily clad women, yes. Um, he applied on three occasions and was always denied. And apparently he offered to give a resume, but they declined and said they didn't need it. They told him, and I quote, we hire on the basis of personality and there's an image that needs to be met, end quote. Yeah, there's an image. In other words, you have to be a woman who's attractive and has certain distinctive characteristics. And they are kind of known for being degrading to their employees, which isn't surprising considering that they're a restaurant that specializes in having employees dressed in that way. Um, but, you know, he wanted to be this caricature of a woman, like so many of these different trans people. And then he got upset that he overheard people at the restaurant, including, you know, employ other employees referring to him as he and being upset about the fact that he was using the women's bathroom when he's not a woman. And so he lodged this lawsuit and apparently the New York Division of Human Rights agreed with him that his rights may have been violated. Um, so he should have he should have been given the job at Hooters. Um, so the entire thing is just obviously a parody. I mean, having him, it, it would give the whole thing, it would give the restaurant a very different vibe. Not that I particularly like the vibe now, but if you had, you know, the guy who's basically in drag, um, pretending to be one of these women, and then he gets offended at the fact that he's not perceived as as attractive as the other women, or if he gets offended at the fact that some of the um, clientele are not pleased by this attraction that they're getting from this male, uh, like, how would that work, realistically speaking? Now, beyond that, beyond just the pragmatic um, hell that that would be for the restaurant, lawyers for Hooters also said that when he was, he was actually a regular clientele, like he would actually just come and and buy drinks and so on and he would hit on and flirt with the the staff there and he made multiple servers at the restaurant uncomfortable by saying that he wanted to marry them and then going on to discuss his masturbation practices um and you know i imagine that somebody who works at hooters is like difficult to make uncomfortable just because of the nature of the restaurant but then you add you add that and it's like even even by the adjusted Hooter standards he was making existing employees uncomfortable and then he wanted a job moreover he apparently had threatened to go to a gun range for practice before the next time he comes to the restaurant according to lawyers for Hooters so you know he he was disturbed I'm just gonna put it like that he seems to be disturbed according to the evidence that we have available to us and that's not particularly unusual in these cases because it seems like we're coming up with these patterns now because we have sort of enough data to go on and for like trans people they seem to have like three ma main obsessions they they have attention like they just really want attention from everyone uh, victimhood is another one because they don't just want attention but they, they want to be perceived as victims of some kind of perse persecution real or imagined and then degeneracy so they're just really into overt displays of, I don't know if sexuality is the right word, but just actually being vulgar and sexual um, in manners that are inappropriate even by adjusted standards. And so that's what you see, including in this case. And this is, I mean, yes, obviously you can tie this to why we shouldn't have them, you know, reading to kids for, you know, trans story hour, but it's like, <laughs> At a certain point, you just kind of have to say, well, like, obviously these people are disturbed and will act in disturbing ways. But it, it really is, so much of it is, is about attention. Pay attention to me. I'm unique. I'm special. I'm not like all these other men. I am this other thing. And I'm not quite like all these other women too, because I, I have my own persecution complex going on. And that's, and that's a really big part of this is, complete uniqueness and i think you especially see that in the well i'm not i'm not either of the genders i'm not a male or a female i'm just you know 
one of the 3000 genders that are available because I'm just, you know, very, very unique. And so you have to keep up with the specialized pronouns and so on. And it's just like these, these people really um, need a different type of help. I think we I think we made a huge mistake by by shutting down the institutions. Frankly, I do like the fact that there was some that had abuse going on did not merit us shutting them all down. I mean, there are uh, plenty of occasions of abuse inside of schools, but people aren't talking about shutting them down. Um, instead, you have, but what you have now, like in American society, is this massive homelessness crisis, which is a mental illness crisis. And then you have this trans hysteria, which is not dealt with properly either. And some of these people become increasingly aggressive and nobody does anything about it um, because we won't even acknowledge that it is, you know, a mental illness, let alone to actually, you know, intervene in these people's lives before they start chopping off their body parts, which is just like the sort of like moral vacuousness and outright evil is just on this scale. It's just constantly ascending. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to share this with you because I think it is sort of emblematic in, in some sense of what's going on. And yes, so Hooters continues to fight the lawsuit to not have him prance around their restaurants pretending to be a woman and then getting offended when uh, men are not attracted to him. Hey, you're still here! Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and share it with your friends. I've also got links in the description as to how you can help support my work. Thank you so much!